Things in your basement tend to collect a lot of dust until you finally start to go through them. That's what happened at Roanoke Catholic. 10 News anchor Jenna Zibton shows us the century old history that's now on display and what it means now. This is the first three graduating classes of St. Andrews High School. Pictures from the late 1800s are now on display after two Roanoke Catholic teachers found them in the basement. I was looking for a picture of the campus. That's how all of this started. <laughs> we were just blown away. We couldn't believe the things that were down there. Old news clippings, old report cards, old letters back and forth from alumni. Megan Potter and Sheila Meadows sorted everything in the library over the summer and then made displays all over school. It's been such a labor of love to spend all this time looking at all these pictures and to realize how important all of this historical information is. Some of the best parts have been realizing as we looked at these pictures to know that the, there was a community that came before us. The history is from two Catholic schools that merged into one. Letters from wars and old pins that are still given out today. One of the traditions here at Renner Catholic is at the end of every year, you get a highest average pin for the child who earns the highest average in the upper school. And at graduation, the seniors, they put the pins all down the front of their robes. Student art from about 1910 now hangs outside the art room inspiring today's students. So I think that what I want most out of this is for the kids here to understand how rich the history is for their school. But I also want to almost encourage them to understand that nothing we're dealing with is new. You know, they've already survived a pandemic. They've already survived world wars. It's, this building has been here through all of it. And so kind of that sense of home and that sense of belonging, I just want to see it strengthen a little bit more. When we walk these halls, it's like we're on sacred ground because of what one man decided to do. And it makes me so appreciative of how we, what he wanted and how we need to carry that vision and that legacy on. Some items displayed will change throughout the year. They're also working to find some pictures of graduating classes they don't have on file. You can see more of the history on WSLS.com. Jenna Zibton, 10 News, working for you.